Uh, right now, I am in Dakar, Senegal. Um, these are the streets of Dakar. As you can see, it's a beautiful day. Okay, it's a beautiful day. Um, I'm getting ready to go to the market. And uh, we're getting ready to get into a small taxi. Okay, so right now I am in the... It's like a small taxi. But this is like a shared ride, so I guess it's cheaper. There is a lot that happened at the market that many of you did not see because those were like behind the scenes. And so I'm going to actually share a little bit more of my experience in that car at the market, okay? Now, one of my first experiences is that people in that car are very camera shy. You know, a lot of people, I would say. I didn't run into any trouble or anything like that, but there was a few instances where, you know, people didn't really know how to feel about the camera. And so that actually made me to realize that, you know what, maybe I need to even go smaller with my camera and actually um, use a GoPro instead of my actual digital filming camera, uh, the bigger body with the wider lens. And so I guess it's just, different areas people like different things and so if you're someone who might be watching this video and you want to travel and maybe capture content um, there are a lot of places that are used to people filming taking pictures with big body cameras and there are some places they're not used to it so you may have to actually get like a smaller gopro or a very small camera something that that can be hidden and you can you know, kind of film and, and really get some good content without making people feel uncomfortable at the same time. So that's, that's another pro tip. Secondly, while I was there, I wanted to consume the local products. And so initially they wanted to take me to the supermarket where they have like the, the, the overhead supermarkets where you can rent things and, and really just, um, just purchase things um, that are imported mostly. But I wanted to have the local experience. I wanted to have the real vibe, the street vibe. And so I had them take me to like the local markets where we bargained, you know, we had to negotiate. And one of the things I realized, as soon as they recognized that I was not from the area, as, long, as soon as they recognized I was a foreigner, they upped the price like yesterday's price was not today's price they were surcharging and so you know she had to like negotiate for me the prices because they're like listen you know from here we can already tell you don't know how things go we're gonna we're gonna take advantage of you and we're gonna make sure we get all our money's worth but that's how it is even when i go to other countries like people are like that you know, they want to charge you for that tourism tax. And so that's just how it is in a lot of places. And so just make sure that whenever you travel somewhere, have someone who is already local, who's familiar with the local market, who's familiar with the local language. Um, and when I say language, I don't just mean the, the, the verbal language. I mean, who are in tune with the local codes and cues and different things where you're not taking advantage of, especially when it comes to the prices and different things like that. Cause people would like, they will do some ridiculous price literally just because they want to make money for that day. And so, and once again, I don't necessarily fault them because, Hey, that's business. You know, you, you want to make your money, make your money. So just make sure if you're traveling somewhere, you have a traveling guide, someone who's already in tune with the area, who are able to guide you um, better throughout your experiences. And then another thing, um, the food was, I would say the food was very good as far as like the, the different ingredients. A lot of the foods were organically grown, locally grown um, in the Senegal area, if not Gambia or um, surrounding countries. Um, some fruits were imported from Morocco I wasn't really into those because they had the little stickers on them. Um, I did purchase some melon. It had seeds in it. So uh, so they had seeded melons from Senegal. So a lot of the foods that I purchased were 
local foods and it wasn't pricey because like I said even with the little few um, francs Senegalese francs that they um, that they had charged it still came out to be decent and so I would say that if you're traveling to Senegal I mean you can definitely make it when it comes to food food is relatively cheap um, especially if you have someone who's able to cook for you you go and purchase the food the items the groceries they come back make the food and you have you have enough to eat for days all right so that's another thing secondly when we are able to make it home you know she went in the kitchen and went to work i mean like i said i don't consume chemical products so a lot of the ingredients we had to run through them because some people add there's something called maggie some people add maggie to their food which is carcinogenic to a, to a great degree and so i do not consume it um even oil you know i told her not to add oil to the food but she ended up adding it but i I feel that she added the oil because she did not remember because there was <laughs> there were laws there were there were precepts <laughs> there were laws there were precepts that were set in motion and so you know I definitely gave her a pass but even then it wasn't a lot anyway listen the food tastes delicious I was surprised because I didn't have high expectations you know going in and so i'm like okay here are the ingredients you know make make it do make it do what it do you know and so at the end when the food was presented i was shocked i was blown away it tastes great and so i definitely find myself a chef for the time being that i'm here in dakar and so i am going to be eating out also but at the same time I know that I have a, 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 an ace, you know, I have a, an ace on the roller deck that, you know, that we can call who's able to put it down in the kitchen. And so my experience here in Dakar, I've been here since Monday evening, Monday night, actually. I didn't sleep at all Monday, literally. Because as soon as I got here, they took me out. I didn't get back in till late. I went to bed like around 6 a.m., 5 a.m. I had to recover Tuesday. I mean, I was pretty much blown away that I even had the strength to be able to go out in the marketplace, to be able to even um, shoot. And so I slept most of the day Tuesday. And now Wednesday, I would say that I'm, I'm about 70% back when it comes to energy wise. I'm about 70% back. By Thursday, I definitely should be back on my feet because I'm getting acclimated to the local time. I definitely woke up a lot earlier um, today than I did yesterday. And so I'm, I'm getting acclimated back to the, to the locals to be able to rise with the sun locally and, 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 and go down with the sun as well. And so um, the jet lag is definitely serious. To be able to travel like 10 hours with delays and uncomfortable seats and stuff like that is definitely uh, strenuous. But yet at the same time, it's good to be alive I'm blessed to be in the land of the living, to be in the amazing, the beautiful Dakar, Senegal. So we're going to be exploring different places. We're going to be exploring the city, and I'm going to bring you guys my experience in Dakar, Senegal, as you tap in with me on this amazing journey. So don't forget to like and share and subscribe to this video, to this channel. As you can see, like, like I said, I'm still recovering. I'm still recovering. I'm still getting back into the groove. So you all, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel, like the video. Until then, I'll see you next time. Peace.
I'm at the market right now, shooting. I'm at the market here in Dakar. So we're buying some food right now so we can go home and make. So people here are very camera shy, so <laughs> some people, not everybody, some people are very camera shy. All right.